welcome back to a new session on dentistry and more today we have a orthodontic topic that is maxillary expansion so how do we expand maxilla so we have two methods one is slow and one is rapid so two ways we can do the expansion of maxilla so let's see what are the basic differences between slow maxillary expansion and rapid maxillary expansion so we have nine parameters here so let's see how it differs in these parameters the first one is type of expansion so in slow expansion is both skeletal and dental is happening from the beginning that is in one is to one ratio but whereas in rapid maxillary expansion it is mostly skeletal that is at the beginning period and later dental is coming so it is like eight is to two ratio that is mostly a skeletal expansion is happening and the next one is rate of expansion as the name suggests the rate of expansion is slow here and it is very rapid here and the tissue retraction since it is a slow expansion the tissue retraction is more of physiologic in nature but it is a traumatic it is traumatic to the tissue since we are applying very rapid forces a greater amount of force so while coming to the force used it is a milder force in slow expansion that is 2 to 4 LPS and it is greater compared to uh, slow and rapid expansion that is 10 to 20 LPS. So the frequency of activation is low and less frequent in slow expansion that is 0.5 to 1 mm per week but in rapid expansion it is 0.2 0.5 to 1 mm per day. This is per week and this is per day. And duration of treatment this since it is a slow expansion it takes longer duration as it is rapid it will be completed at a shorter span and type of appliances used in slow expansion mostly both can be used that is fixed and removable appliances can be used but in rapid expansion it's mostly fixed appliance so the age group where we can do this expansion the slow expansion can be applied to any age group but rapid expansion should be focused the age group where the mid palatine suture is not fused so it should be applied before the fusion of mid palatal suture and regarding the retention there is less chance of relapse in slow expansion whereas more chance of relapse in rapid expansion so let's see few examples for slow expansion devices that is quad helix and w spring and in rapid expansion devices we have both tooth and tissue bone and tooth bone in tooth and tissue bone we have the rich wheeler and has type appliances and tooth bone we have isaacson and hyrax appliances so that is the basic difference between maxilla maxillary expansion slow and rapid the name itself gives many clues the force force applied the frequency of activation uh, is very much related to the rapid expansion and the frequency of interval is more in rapid and the problem is this is more traumatic the tissues but the advantage is this will be completed very fast so that's all about maxillary expansion slow and rapid so I'll come up with a new session on dentistry and more thank you